Okay, in this video I just want to go over some more acid-base chemistry and um, look at what happens when you add a strong acid to a buffer and um, investigate how that pH changes and such. So let's get right into it. Um, and all three of these problems are interrelated, so they're all going to have, they're all going to connect together. So the first question says, a buffer consists of 0.30 moles of propanoic acid with a Ka of 1.4 times 10 to the negative fifth and 0.30 moles of sodium propanate propanoate. What is the pH of the buffer? Okay, well we're dealing with the buffer so we're probably dealing with Henderson Hasselbeck again so we can write down the pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of the concentration of deprotonated, in this case propanoate, over protonated propanoic acid, in our case. So now that we have that, we can actually get the pKa, because we're given the Ka up here. So again, we go back and use our equation that the pKa is equal to the negative log of the Ka. So the pKa is equal to the negative log of 1.4 times 10 to the negative fifth. So pKa in this case is equal to 4.85. So that is the first part of it. So now we can plug that into the Henderson Hasselbeck equation and um, something interesting is going to happen. So the pH equals 4.85 plus the log. Now the concentration of deprotonated or prop propanoate is 0 0.3 moles. So we can plug that in. And we also know the concentration for propanoic acid. And that is 0 0.30 moles. Now, if we look at this, we'll notice that 0 0.30 divided by 0 0.30 is just 1, and the log of 1 is just 0. So this just goes out. So in this case, the pH is just simply equal to the pKa. So, PA, so the pH is 4.85, same as the pKa. Okay, so now that we have that problem under our belt, let's go to the next one. It says, what is the pH after one, mol, one milliliter of 0.1 mole HCl is added to 10 milliliters of buffer? Okay, well this will be take a little bit more to solve. So the first thing I like to do is convert everything to liters. So one milliliter is equal to one times ten to the negative third liters. And we know that ten milliliters is equal to zero point one zero one liters. Okay. And the total number of liters that we have for this problem is 0 0.1, 0 0.011. And that's going to be important in a second. So now we need to see how the concentration of HCl changes once it's added to this buffer solution. So to do that, we're going to say 1 times 10 to the negative third liters is going to be multiplied by the 0 0.10 mole HCl, the initial concentration of HCl. And that's going to be over the total number of liters of the new solution. So once you have this written down, you can, you know, plug it into a calculator. 
and what you'll find out is that it's equal to about 9.1 times 10 to the negative third moles of HCl. So that's the new concentration of HCl. Now remember, HCl is hydrochloric acid. It's a strong acid, so it fully disassociates. And since we know that it fully disassociates, we know to, a, to hydronium ions and Cl minus, we know that it's actually going to increase the concentration of propanoic acid. So So propanoic acid, we started out with an initial concentration of 0 0.3 moles, and now we're going to add to that the 9.1 times 10 to the negative 3 moles, and that's going to give us approximately 0 0.31 moles of HA. And we can do the same thing now for propanoate, which also started with an initial concentration of 0 0.30 moles. But in this case, we're going to subtract 9.1 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. And that's going to give us 0 0.29 moles of A minus. So both of these concentrations are important now because we can use those in the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. And if you recall from before, we already know what the pKa is. It's equal to 4.85. So we have everything we need to get the pH. So all you got to do is plug and chug. So pH is equal to 4.85 plus the log of 0 0.29 over 0 0.31. And what you'll find when you plug that all into the calculator is that the, the log over here works out to about negative 0 0.029. So 4.85 plus a negative 0.029 gives us a pH of 4.82. So the pH is 4.82 and it decreases when you add HCl which makes perfect sense because we're adding a strong acid. Now get one more problem here which is very, very similar to the first, the second problem, we, the last one we just did. And again, I'm going to go through basically the exact same process for this one. So we can see that it says, what is the pH after 10 milliliters of 0.1 mole HCl is added to 10 milliliters of buffer? So the first thing I do, again, is convert everything to liters. So we're, if we're adding 10 milliliters of 0.1 mole HCl, that, works, that winds up being 0 0.01 liters. And the total number of liters for the entire solution is the 0 0.01 liters of HCl and we're going to add that to again 0 0.01 liters of buffer so the total is equal to 0 0.02 liters So next thing to do, again, is to take the 0 0.01 liters, multiply that by the initial concentration of HCl, which is 0 0.1 mole HCl, and divide that by the total for the new solution.
So when you do all that, you'll find that this equals 0 0.05 moles of HCl. Again, hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, so we know it fully disassociates. And we also know that we have 0 0.3 moles of propanoic acid and 0 0.3 moles of propanoate. Or 0 0.3 moles of propanoate. So what we're going to do now is just subtract the amount of HA or excuse me. What we're going to do now is add the 0 0.5 moles to the propanoic acid which gives us 0 0.35 moles of HA and 0 0.30 minus 0 0.05 moles gives us 0 0.25 moles of A minus so those are our two concentrations for propanoic acid and propanoate and now we can plug all this into the Henderson Hasselbeck. So pH equals 4.85 plus the log of 0 0.25 over 0 0.35. So the pH is equal to 4.85 plus a negative 0 0.15 and our final solution is the pH is equal to 4.7. So sorry that I get a little sloppy at the end um, but again this is just pretty much the exact same problem as the first one we're just adding more HCl. So that's all I want to do for this video. Thanks.